excellent lap. We're all very, very pleased with that one. Nice work. Come on, I'll see you back in the pits. Well, the prize in the eyes of our winner today is there for all to see. But next time, who knows who might be standing on top of that podium. Join us again next time for more thrilling F1 world action. Welcome back to Baku. We're on the edge of the Caspian Sea in a bustling, vibrant capital, which once again plays host to the spectacle of Formula Two. This is not your usual racing circuit. It provides one of the most complete tests for the field. Sector one sports a set of 90 degree corners around the block, if you like. Sector two gets even tighter with the old city walls. Sector three just turns 16 to negotiate and then 2.2 kilometers flat to the floor, full throttle in sixth gear all the way to the end. As we're now moments away from the off, let's take a look at the grid order in which they'll start today's race. It's Campos in pole position then, and it's Ayumu Awasa in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Daruvala, Porcher, Marcus Armstrong, Cordiel, Novelak, Dragovic, Sato, Richard Vashaw, Fittipaldi, Duan, Dennis Hauger, Callum Williams, Vesti, Phipps, Hughes, and Liam Lawson. Nissani, Calderon, Sargent, and Ralph Boschon completes the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Alongside me today, I'm delighted to welcome back to the commentary box the 2012 GP2 champion, Davide Valsecchi. There looks to be a challenging race ahead of the drivers today, Davide. With that in mind, what are you looking out for today? Well, Alex, I want to see how the drivers at the back of the grid are going to roll up. They'll need to make an impact in the early stages, and they're probably hoping for a bit of luck at the start. We may see some bold maneuvers out there today.
Yes, mate. We got the win and you did it cleanly. Incredible. Brilliant stuff from Campos today. What a superb victory. And I have to wonder, Davide Valsecchi, just what set them apart from the competition here? The difference was in the strategy. Credit to the driver, for sure. But races like these really drive home how much of a team sport this is. They did a lot of work on the pit wall to really make the most of each stint and to make the best use of this tires. But that said, all of that would have been for nothing without a talented hand on the wheel. It's time to present the top drivers with their trophies for today's race. And there are a lot of people in the paddock very happy with this result. It's Campos on the top step. What happened on the track today will surely, no doubt, come back to excite us once more. These drivers competing throughout the season and giving us brilliant entertainment. So why not join us again next time for more of the same?